Okay, so this doesn't exactly seem like it's related to what we've been doing, but I promise it is. You'll see. Um, we are finding the equation of a parabola for this first one. It says find a quadratic equation that says it's the parabola. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C, whose graph passes through the following points. Negative 2, 5. Negative 1, 5. And 1, 0, 1. So there needs to be a parabola. When I look at that, I don't really see the parabola. I mean, I kind of do, but not exactly. Can you kind of tell what the parabola looks like maybe a little bit? We'll describe it a little bit. Which way is it facing? It's got to be facing downward. Because remember, with, when we have a parabola, we have uh, like mirror points. So you can see that these two points mirror each other. There's got to be like a center there. If there's a point here, there's going to be another mirror point over here. There's going to be points somewhere on that center line. I, I just don't know exactly where it is yet. But I know it's going to look, well, that was bad. <laughs> it's going to look something like that. It's still bad, but not as bad. Um, in your assignment, it is going to ask you to graph it, which um, we can do now or we can do at the end. It's totally up to you. But we will be doing a graph with the um, your questions too. All right. So how do we do this? Um, we have three ordered pairs. The first ordered pair is going to give us equation one. The second ordered pair is going to give us equation two. And the third ordered pair is going to give us equation three. We're going to take each ordered pair one at a time and plug it into the formula for the quadratic um, function. So the first variable is y. I'm going to put a 5 there. And then I'm going to do, I don't know what a is, but I know x is negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus c. So I took ordered pair number 1, plugged it in, and I have an equation. I'm going to take ordered pair number 2 and plug it in. 5 equals a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. And I'm going to take ordered pair number 3 and plug it in. <clears throat> 1 equals a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. So we have three equations, and we have three variables, a, b, and c. That's what we need to find is what a, b, and c are. a, b, and c are going to be the same for all three equations. So what my next step is, is I'm just going to simplify these three equations. I'm going to put it in the form that we've been working in, um, like negative 2 squared is 4. So equation one, I really have 4a minus 2b plus c equals 5. I, I put the 5 on the right side just because that's the way I like it. It doesn't have to be on the right side. You can keep it on the left. Totally up to you. Equation two, uh, a squared minus b plus c equals 5. And equation three, equals 1. This way? Yeah, it's squared. Mm -hmm. yes. No, I don't know why I wrote that. Well, I know why I wrote it because I made a mistake, but <laughs> thank you. Okay, so we plugged in our um, variable. We have three variables. You need to solve for those variables, but this one works out kind of nice because um, C is 1. We already know what C is. Okay? What should I do with that? Plug it in. Um, which equation should I plug it into? Say that again. I'm sorry. 
Eliminate, yeah. Well, I know what C is already. So I already have one of the variables. Well, can you just make the two, like one and two, and then one and two? Like eliminate one of the. Okay, I get, I get you. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. There's a couple different ways we could do it. We know what C is. Let's just plug in C into one and two. Just plug it in. Equation one 4a minus 2b plus 1 equals 5. And equation 2, a minus b plus 1 equals 5. So if I plug in c into 1 and 2, we've already gotten rid of one variable. And then what, what do you want me to do? Let me, let me uh, move the one over. What should we do now? We already know what C is. What do we still need to find out? So let's just use elimination. We need to get two equations with two variables, and we did that by putting in the 1 for Z. We need two equations with two variables. We did that already by putting in that 1 for Z. So now we have two equations, two variables. You're telling me to multiply. Uh, I heard multiply, but I didn't hear the details. This one by negative 2? Okay. So then equation 1 is still the same. And equation two would be uh, add them together and we get A is negative two. So now we know C and we know A. How do we find B? <clears throat> plug A and C. Well, we already plugged C in. Plug A into one of those. <clears throat> original questions. Uh, I will go to that one just because it looks easier. I already plugged C in. I just need to plug in A. My B's and my 6's look a lot alike. But I got B equals negative 6. If I'm not sure if I did it right, if I want to check my answer, I can plug it into the original, or I can plug it into this equation one right here, just to make sure I did it right. But I'll show you another way we can check our answer after I check it this way. That's not right. It's up about the six. Still not right, because I can't multiply. Ah, is it Monday? Okay, just checking. <clears throat> All right, so um, we got A, B, and C. The question is not asking what it was asking on Friday. We're not trying to find where three equations intersect. We're actually trying to find the equation of the parabola. So we're going to write it into that y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. What was C? One? Was C one? Is that what it was? Okay. Now, um, I can graph it on my graphing calculator to check it. Or you also have to graph it like on your paper so we can accurately get some points if you go to your graphing calculator. Go ahead and take that out. Type then y equals Well, there's a little bit, of, but the answer difference would be you're writing an equation instead of just an ordered triple like we did on Friday. Now, um, you can graph it to see what it looks like, but just to check my answer or to get other ordered pairs that are on it, if I go to the table, 
That's where I can see that the three ordered pairs that were given originally, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 5, and 0, 1 are all on this graph. If I were to go to my table and look and not find those three ordered pairs, then I probably did something wrong. So those ordered pairs being there helps you know that you did it right. All right. Um, if you come across a question that is like this in homework, but you don't have like C equals one right away, if you had all three variables, and you're going to be doing what we did on Friday. We have to like eliminate twice. Same thing we did on Friday and then eliminate with those. That will happen in homework. All right, uh, the second example is finding the equation of a circle and they've given you the general form. It's, this is going to be the same work. It's just that um, for this one, it's a circle instead of a parabola. It passes through those points. So I'm just going to sketch a quick little graph. You are going to sketch a graph for homework. 0, 0, 0, negative 2. Three zero. That's it. Could be my inaccurate graphing scale. Did I graph anything wrong? Yeah. <laughs> well, it might be harder to graph. Um, the center of the circle is not part of that. So, where would the center of that circle be? That would be something like that. <laughs> yeah, somewhere around there. Okay. <laughs> Just plug in our ordered pairs. We've got ordered pair one, two, and three. So that's how we're going to get our three equations. One is going to be x squared, which is zero squared, plus y squared, which is zero squared plus d times 0, plus e times 0, plus f equals 0. Because that's the order pair 0, 0. Equation 2 has 0 squared plus negative 2 squared plus d times 0 plus e times negative 2 plus f equals zero. And then equation three is three squared plus zero squared plus d times three plus e times zero plus f equals zero. So after you plug everything in and simplify it. If you are working ahead and already have the answer, you're more than welcome to start your homework. I haven't got that far yet. Because I know some of you are like already there. So I'm going to simplify the first equation. I simplify it and I get f equals 0. Second equation, I'm going to simplify it. <clears throat> when I simplify it, um, I move the constant to the other side where the constant always is for the kinds of problems we've been doing. So where I got a 4 right here, I moved it to the other side. And then the third one, I have a nine 
right here, and I'm going to move that to the other side of the equation also, just so it's set up the way we've been doing the equations. And then this one's really an easy one. F is zero, so I can put that zero in here and find E is two. I can put that zero in for this one. And find that d is negative 3. And then we have to write our equation. just looking at this, I think the center is at one half negative one. One and one half negative one. I think that's where the center is. We're graphing it. All right. So we have an assignment for questions. You can just, if you want, you can just start on your homework that was due today and just like continue on that same page if you'd like to say some deeper. Lots of time to work on it. 35 minutes. 